When you were younger, did you want to have your own garden? Maybe today you want to pass on that love of gardening to a new generation. Why are people failing at gardening? Let's make your thumbs greener with. What do I consider gardening? You could start with a big yard, a small yard, no yard, maybe just a balcony. Maybe you never grew anything or you just grew some grass. Maybe you just have some flower boxes. That's still gardening. So what are gardeners growing? Think of veggies, fruit, trees, shrubs, flowers, herbs. It all is considered gardening. So why are people failing at gardening? Maybe they start with a really finicky plant, a plant that's got tiny, tiny little seeds. Or maybe they have a really long time between they plant and something comes out, a long germination, like an onion. Or a long season plant. The length of time matters because the longer it takes from planting till something is harvestable, the more chance that something is going to happen. Maybe they used a, a high need plant like corn or a plant that's really susceptible to certain pests like lilies. Maybe they reverse program their seed. Reversing is where you start your seeds in a really good soil, like most potting soils, and then they planted it or transplanted it into a much poorer soil. That's reverse program. You want to learn more about things like programming seeds? Check out our propagation course from the master class. Maybe they failed because they just put one seed per spot or per tray or per pot. Don't assume every seed that you plant or every plant that you plant will succeed. There's a lot of things that can happen. A rabbit could come by and munch your plant. So don't be afraid of planting some extras. Maybe they don't have enough sunshine for their garden plants. Sun is critical to a lot of plants. If you're growing vegetables, and you don't have enough sun to grow good grass. What do I call good grass? Grass that when you look down on the grass, you see grass. You don't see half of it as soil. So good grass means it's had at least eight hours of sunshine. And that's what your vegetables need. Otherwise, you're talking about a shade garden. And in that case, put shade loving plants. But a lot of vegetables, actually all vegetables, are not really shade loving. They need sun. Maybe you watch too many daunting videos with expensive setups, raised bed, complicated techniques, and you thought, you just gave up before you even started. Maybe the books you're looking at or the magazines make it sound like it's so complicated because it could be. Always start by wondering, what are they assuming? Do they assume you're advanced gardener? Or are they assuming you're a very beginner? You've not even started yet. Let me give you a real confidence booster. Get a branch from a willow tree or shrub. Stick it in a glass or a jar of water and watch. It will put out roots. It will open its buds. Start with plants that will boost your confidence. There are, for every climate, every region, there are plants that are unbeatable. They are just so easy. Start with those. Don't start with complicated and confusing techniques and strategies and plants. You can do it. You can get green things to grow. Maybe you failed a lot and you think, oh, I don't know, I'm ready to quit. Start with easy stuff. I like to say, start by growing something that's going to grow like a weed. What's a weed? It's a plant that you don't water, you don't fertilize, you didn't even plant. It was just growing and it grew the best of any plant. There are plants that are like that, that grow like weeds when you plant them. Man, you literally have to just stand back because they're going to take over and do well. Learn from fails. Don't say, I failed. Learn from it because it's really not a fail. It's really feedback. You tried something, it didn't work. You got feedback. You got how you can adjust it. Maybe you over or underwatered. 
water can kill plants because there's too much or not enough. Soil is a great buffer. If your plants are growing in soil, they're not as likely to have those extremes, not enough or too much, that they die. When you separate a plant from the soil and you put it in a pot, there's going to be a much higher chance that it's over or underwatered. So you have to learn to watch it. But what do you watch for? You watch the leaves of the plant. Most plants have leaves that want to catch the sun, so they open up towards the sun. If you see your leaves droop the way down, fall so that they're trying to basically hide from the sun, then that's a sure sign they're not getting enough water because a leaf loses water when it's exposed to the sun. It perspires. Too much water is really avoided with good drainage. Well, if you're in a pot, that just means make sure you have holes in the bottom so that extra water can escape. If you're in the soil and you go, how do I know if there's too much water? Well, if it's after a rain and there's water sitting on the surface for hours or days, chances are your soil doesn't have very good drainage. And in that case, I'd say, wonderful. You have a great site to dig and put in a pond to have water-loving plants. Don't fight nature. Maybe you failed because you didn't want to ask for help. You didn't want to ask in your community, in your neighborhood, whether it's in person or online. Go ask. Gardeners are super helpful and friendly, and they would love to help you. Don't disregard easy plants. I like to say children's gardens plants, plants that are large seeded, germinate really quickly, have a short season, but give you results that are big plants visible. And you know what? If you have children, they are far more likely to eat and appreciate and like that plant than if they didn't grow it. So things like peas and beans and sunflowers, these are quick and easy and will boost your confidence and success. Maybe you didn't leave yourself enough time. Long season, short season, time is important. If you planted too quickly because you got excited and you, you know you want to just get out there and plant and a frost hit and kill the plants, or maybe you planted too late in the season and they never had enough time before the first frosts. So the time is important. You know, the old saying, to everything there is a season. If you want to know the best season and the right time, check out this video next.